Who is it? Come on in. Lloyd, did I wake you? It's snowing outside. I was wondering why it was so cold. Yeah, it's really cold. You sure sound happy. Yeah, I mean, I can actually tell it's cold. I'm so happy. That's right. You couldn't feel things like that just a little while ago, huh? Say, Lloyd, if you don't mind the cold, do you want to go for a little walk? Sure. Look, look! You can see out over the city. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Lloyd, do you remember what Krato said? What was it? He said we can throw the X spheres away at any time. But right now, we need to carry the burden of the hopes and dreams of the victims and fight on their behalf. Oh, that. That was when we saw X spheres being made at the human ranch in Silverant. He was talking about your mother, wasn't he? But he works willingly for the boss of the guy responsible for turning my mom into a monster. I don't think that's true. Krato saved us over and over again. And he protected you too, Lloyd. Yeah, but... And so, I'm sure he cares about both you and your mother. He's a wonderful father, don't you think? Is that why you brought me out here? To tell me that? Um... Hmm... Yeah, I guess that was part of it. Thanks, but it's okay. I'm not really shocked about the fact that he's my father anymore. But... Origin Seal? I'm sorry for bringing it up, but if he unleashes all the mana from his body, then not even he could... I know. No one knows if he'll survive or not. And that's why we need to find a way to release Origin without Kratos losing his life. Just like the way you saved me. Colette? I'm sure everyone will understand, okay? Please? Thanks, Colette. But I look at it this way. Kratos has his reasons for siding with Mythos. And I want to hear what those are. Anything else I do is going to wait until after that. You're going, aren't you? To Daris Carlon. Yeah. I plan to go after we check on Altessa's condition tomorrow. I don't agree with Mythos's vision. I have to prevent it from happening. I'm going to fight him. Is it okay if I come a little closer? Um... Sure. I don't want to see this beautiful scenery ruin the way Silverant was. I won't let that happen. This time, we're going to protect it, right? Yeah. Do you know the Seventh Dwarven Vow? <laughs> the one you hate the most, right? Goodness and love will always win. I really hope that's true. Are you worried? Then... Take this. What's this? It's a charm. A Flanor snow bunny. They say it brings good luck. I had them take one to Altessa earlier. And this one's for you. Thanks. Lloyd, we're all with you. Now that you have a charm too, everything will work out okay. Yeah, you're right. It's me. Have you looked outside? It's snowing. I was wondering why it was so cold. Let's go outside for a bit. Come on, it'll be fun. Sure. Wow. Everything is so quiet when it's snowing. Yeah. It's kind of creepy, huh? We hardly ever see snow in Iselia since it's so warm. Wow, this is so cool! Hey, you're gonna trip and f Don't worry, I'll be fine. See? I told you. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you crying? Did you hurt yourself? Huh? <laughs> no, 
it's not like that. I just got a little scared. Of what? I just thought about Mythos as an angel. He probably wouldn't notice that it's so cold. Maybe. Maybe he just wants to reject everything about who he is. Being human, being elven, even being half-elven. Tomorrow, after we make sure Altessa's okay, we're going to finally put an end to all this, aren't we? Huh? Why do you ask? Yeah, that's the plan, anyway. Then, is it okay for me to take Mythos aside for just a minute? What? I can kind of understand how he feels. Just a little. Really? When we were chased out of Isalia, I... I cursed the fact that I was part human. I couldn't stand it. I see. When Rain and I were refused at Heimdall, I was so embarrassed and frustrated. Yeah. I'm neither human nor elf. Neither side will accept me. Yet unless I belong to one of them, neither will recognize my very existence. Are you opposed to fighting Mythos? No, it's not like that. I certainly can't forgive him for the things he's doing. But it pains you, right? Well, even if we defeat Mythos, I don't think we'll truly have defeated him. Yeah. Humans, elves, and half-elves, all of us have to change. Can everyone really change? We can't give up. Everyone has the right to live in this world. To see this scenery. At least, that's what I think. You're right. You've been really stubborn about not giving up. Can't you think of a better word than stubborn? Maybe I'll try being a little stubborn too. You sure know how to push a guy's buttons. <laughs> oh well. Chew! It's getting pretty cold. Wanna head back inside? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Lloyd. Hmm? For what? For just treating me like... Treating you like what? Nah, never mind. What was that about, dork? Could I speak with you for a moment? Hey, Professor. What's up? I wanted to go outside to see the snow. Would you like to accompany me? Sure. It's so wondrous the way snow can fall from a jet black sky. Hard to believe you would say something like that. <laughs> Although I'd have to agree with you. <laughs> You're going overboard on the laughter. <clears throat> Sorry. Lloyd, what are you planning to do now? We need to go to Daris Carlon. Yes. It's time we settled this. Yeah. I know what I have to do. Release Origin's seal, acquire the right to wield the Eternal Sword, and use it to reunite the worlds. Although, they say humans can't use the Eternal Sword. That's not the only problem. In order to accomplish your goal, you must defeat not only Mythos, but Kratos as well. I wonder if there's another way, like with Colette. Before, I would have simply stated that there is none. Really? Yes. I used to believe that there are some things that can't be changed in this world. And now you don't? I still think there are some things that can't be changed. Ah. <sighs> but I don't think it's such a bad thing to believe in possibilities. Although I'm a little nervous about this change in myself. Wonder what it was that changed you. Do you remember studying about snowflakes? How, when viewed under a magnifying glass, you can see that they have complex crystalline shapes? Uh, what? Did they? Yes, they do. They're beautiful crystals that resemble conifers. Conifers? Never mind. Anyway, depending on the temperature and humidity, snow crystals become completely different shapes. And so... 
They all look like the same cold snow, but in reality, they're very sensitive to the environment around them. Oh well, yeah, I get that, but... In other words, the temperature around me has changed. Oh, I see. You're saying that there's something that has changed you. <laughs> Although, it would seem that my heat source hasn't realized it at all. Huh? Thanks for keeping me company. We should head on back and rest. For tomorrow may be our last battle. Yeah, I guess. Hey, do you have a sec? Sheena, what's up? You want to come outside with me? It's snowing and it's really pretty. Sure. Everyone's asleep. The world looks so peaceful when you stand here like this. Yeah, even though up above us, Crucius is busy planning its absurd age of lifeless beings. <laughs> lifeless beings. Do you think discrimination would really go away if everyone became lifeless beings? I doubt it would. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm human, but the people of Mizuho and the other humans of Tethael have always had a gap separating them. Even inside Mizuho, I always stood out. Maybe Mythos despises the blood of both races that course through his body. Maybe so. I can kind of understand that too. Because you're from Mizuho? Well, since I can make pacts with summon spirits, I probably, I probably have elves in my ancestry somewhere in the distant past. Really? Apparently, only those of elven blood can call forth summon spirits. Not just magic, but any technique that uses the mana of the natural world requires some elven blood to be flowing through you. Then Kratos and Zelos too? Yeah, they might have some elven blood in them. Just like me. I see. The instant I made the pact with Corinne, people around me started to look at me differently. And I thought to myself, this is what it must be like for half-elves all the time. Did you ever wish you were different? I've lost count of the times I've wished it. Especially since I caused the deaths of the people in my village. But it's because I have this power that I met Corinne and all of you. Yeah. If you didn't have your summoning abilities, someone else might have come to kill Colette instead. When I think about it that way, I think that everything a person possesses is important in some way. In other words, you have your summoning abilities because they're needed. Yeah. My power, Colette's power, Rain and Genus's elven blood, and everything you've received from your parents. They're all needed, and that's why they're there. I mean, we're all needed, and that's why we're here. I think you're right. I think every single life has meaning. Me too. I started thinking that way lately. And when I did, it's like a great weight was lifted from my shoulders. To know that it's okay just to be alive, you know? Well, yeah. That's a given, isn't it? <sighs> Wasn't a given for me. I failed in my duties and I ran from making pacts. I always thought of myself as a burden. I see. But after seeing you say exactly what you mean, and not holding anything back time and time again, I started to think that maybe I could just be myself. Really? I, I don't quite get it. Really? I think I started to think that way because you live your life in such earnest. Uh, I think that's a compliment. <laughs> huh. I wish Mythos could feel that too. Mythos? If he lived his life as earnestly as you do, maybe he wouldn't be able to snuff out the lives of those who are trying just as hard to live. I don't know if we can get that across to him or not. But I'm going to fight him for the sake of creating a world where we can live our lives the way we want to. Are you planning to make the next move? Yeah. I don't see the situation improving by allowing Crucius to go about their merry way. I agree. I don't like just sitting around and waiting to see what happens. Right? You and I think a lot alike, Sheena. I think we could become great friends. 
Great. Friends. Oh, uh, you, you don't want to? <sighs> Idiot. Hey, man, you awake? I just got sleepy right now. Good night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't be like that. Come on, let's go talk outside for a bit. Sure. On that day, Mel Tokyo had a record snowfall. It looked just like this city. What are you talking about all of a sudden? Ah, just a story about the past. I suddenly felt like talking about it. Well, if you want to talk, I'm all ears. I was so excited to see snow for the first time, and I made a snowman in the garden with my mother. Then, suddenly, the snowman fell apart. Before I knew what was going on, red snow began to fall. Red snow? It was my mother's blood. She was murdered. <sighs> As she fell, she grabbed my shoulder and told me, you should never have been born. That's... that's horrible. My mother probably loved somebody else, but because of the oracle from Crucius, she had to marry the Chosen at the time, my father. And the old man had another woman as well. But none of that was your fault. The magic that killed my mother was meant for me. What? They targeted me because I was the next Chosen. My mother was caught in the crossfire. <sighs> the one who tried to kill me was Celeste's mother. They executed her, and Celeste was placed under house arrest in the Abbey. So that's what happened. I never wanted to be the Chosen. I spent every moment of my life wishing I could just run away. Hmm, Chosens lead really difficult lives. I can only imagine what it's like. But I can still understand how hard it must be. Sorry. Kinda hard to think of anything to say to a story like that, right? Don't worry about it. But why did you suddenly decide to tell me? I should have never been born. Well, why do you say that? I'm not saying I still think that way now. But all my life, I've been rejected by my parents, shunned by the church, and viewed as a threat by the royal family. I just wanted to run away. But you're here with us now, right? I don't know. Even now, to tell the truth, I get tired of all the problems. Sometimes I think it'd be easier if everyone and everything were just destroyed. Zelos, how can you say that? Did I piss you off? Hell yes! Of course! It'd be a huge problem for me if everything was destroyed. But think about it. If everything was destroyed, you'd vanish too. I refuse to vanish. And so I don't want anyone else to be destroyed. I want you to live too, Zelos. I think I'm gonna cry. Don't make fun of what I'm saying. Tomorrow, once we're sure that Altessa is okay, I'm going to challenge Mythos to a final battle. But if that's the way you feel, I'll be too worried to bring you along. You're going to fight? Do you really think you can unite the worlds? I can and I will. I'm not going to run away. All right, all right, I hear you. I swear, your fervent enthusiasm is enough to melt all the snow in Flanor. I'm in. I guess I'll give this not running away thing a shot. <laughs> Once the world is at peace, you can run away all you like. Gee, thanks. Man, I can't believe I'm joining the weaker side. This isn't like me at all. What are you talking about? Nothing. Just uh, talking to myself. Anyway, let's get back. It's way too cold out here. Yeah. Hmm? Did Zelos drop this? Hey, there's a letter attached. This is a symbol of my trust. Hang on to it for me, okay? I don't have the right to ask for your forgiveness, but I still want you to forgive me. P.S. Don't tell the others. What the? Man, what the heck is he trying to say? He should make it easier to understand. It is me. This is unusual. What's up? Would you like to go see the snow? Sure. Wow. 
Wow, I've never seen this much snow before. I have hardly ever seen snow, so it feels strange. Really? My memories from the time when my soul was missing are not very clear. And also, I've never been anywhere besides Ozette and Mel Tokyo. I see. I understand. I'm the same way. Before all this happened, I'd hardly ever left Isalia. Snow melts away so quickly. Yeah, it's just basically ice. I always thought of it as something that remained for a long, long time. But instead, it is fleeting. Yeah. When you talk about it that way, it's kind of sad. But that's the way things are. Trees, grass, and flowers all eventually wilt away. People are no different. All life eventually dies. And so, snow disappears as well. Altessa will not disappear yet, right? Prosea. I... I still haven't forgiven him. And yet, if he were to pass away, I... It'll turn out okay. That is not absolute. I wish you wouldn't say things like that so casually. If it was absolute, I wouldn't say it'll turn out okay. What do you mean? Those kinds of words are meant for when we feel that there is no need to worry. There's nothing in this world that's absolute. And I think that's precisely why we say things like that to ourselves. Stuff like, I know I can do it. I know it'll be okay. Perhaps so. Honestly, I don't know if Altessa will be alright. The only thing I can do is believe in Altessa's will to live. Believe? Yeah. And that's why I say it'll be okay. I'm going to keep saying it and keep believing it. Human will is a powerful thing. I'm going to use that power to keep Altessa in this world. It must be that power of will that makes you so strong. Uh, I don't know about that. When I look at you, the things I thought were completely hopeless feel as though they may actually be easy to overcome. I'm simple-minded, so I don't think too hard about things. I just figure it'll all work out somehow as long as I don't give up. Do you think you can win against Mythos? Yeah, I'm going to win. I won't be able to fight him unless I have that mindset. Is it because you were friends with him for a little while? I'm not sure. Maybe. But I can't sympathize with him. Yes, he has done many terrible things. To humans, elves, and to the land itself. And to half-elves. He took his own pain and forced it on everyone around him, and got the entire half-elf race caught up in the process. Yes, that's true. The fact is that humans and elves have both done bad things, and I'm sure that Mythos tolerated it as long as he could. But that's only an excuse for all the things he's done. Lloyd, you will win. Huh? That is how I feel after talking to you. If your will and Mythos's will were to collide, I'm certain that yours will overcome his. Because you are not denying your true self. Thanks. Just hearing you say that gives me the courage to take on Crucius tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. After we make sure Altess is okay, I'm going to put an end to all of this. You are going to defeat Mythos and unite the worlds. Yeah, that's the only way. Lloyd, I'm sure everything will be okay. I know you can win. Hey, you're being positive. Yes, I will lend you the power of my will as well. Okay, I'll make good use of it. Pardon me. Regal, what are you doing up at this hour? I apologize for coming late. Would you mind if we stepped outside for a moment? I'd like to have a word with you. Sure. No. This place is clearly affected by Celsius's presence. It's pretty to look at, but I bet the people that live here have a rough time. Indeed. The only way to survive in this area is through tourism. Hey, your company's main business is tourism, right? Do you own any buildings in Flanor? There should be several ski resorts and hotels of ours in this area. Whoa, you really are rich. I'm not the one that built the company. 
It was someone in my family many generations ago. Wow, your family's been around for a long time. The X-Sphere mine produced a great deal of wealth for the family. They most likely sold the X-Spheres through a broker, who passed them on to the Desions. The fortunes I possess were paid for by the blood of the people of Silverant. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Ignorance is no excuse. If anything, it itself is a crime. Well, maybe so, but... That may be part of the reason why Mythos oppresses all life on the planet. What do you mean? Humans are ignorant of their sins, while elves turn a blind eye to them. That frustrates Mythos. Even if that's true, what he's doing is dragging the whole world into a quest for revenge. That's not something that can be forgiven. If so, I too cannot be forgiven. What? Why? For I am on a quest for vengeance against the Crucius. That's different. No, it's not. If the ones who turned Alicia into a monster had been human, I might have followed the same path as Mythos. Your conscience will usually kick in before you get to that point. At least, that's what the professor said. Yes, I'd imagine so. But even still, what I... No, what we are doing is no different than Mythos. No different than Mythos? We are eliminating those who do not share our ideals and those who stand in our way by force. Well, yeah, if you're gonna put it that way. Mythos knows that. That explains why he said the things about the X-Spheres as he was leaving. About the hypocrisy of our protest against sacrificing lives while using these stones that have consumed people's lives. He's really starting to get to me. Are you sure that's not because what he said is true? Maybe. But just because the logic is sound, that doesn't make it right. Hmm. I can't stand what he's doing. That's all there is to it. Yes. Perhaps that is all that needs to be said. By putting myself in Mythos's place, I may have been subconsciously trying to legitimize my own justice. You always think about the complicated stuff. No one wants to be the bad guy. And no one wants to have to put up with things they don't like. Everyone thinks the same way. Is that what you're saying? If you stop and think about the fact that others are the same as you, then you won't do the kinds of things Mythos does. So... You're going to fight him. Tomorrow, after we check on Altessa's condition, I'm going to put an end to all of this. Very well. This chain of tragedy must be broken as soon as possible. Yeah. I'm counting on your support. You have it. Wow, that's some snow. Lloyd. Did someone just call my name? Maybe there's someone outside. Huh, guess I was just hearing things. Lloyd. Did you know I was your son the whole time? I realized it when I found Anna's grave at your house. How did Mom die? You know, don't you? Like Prisea, Anna was a research subject of the Angelus Project. They were trying to create a Crucius crystal inside her body. When I learned of Mythos's plan to create an age of lifeless beings, I turned against him and descended upon this land, where I met Anna. So Mom was an experimental subject, just like Prisea. After meeting Anna, I realized my mistake in believing that accepting Mythos' vision would be the fastest route to reunite the worlds. I began to search for a way for a human to wield the Eternal Sword. So you can unite the worlds? Yes. However, Anna and I were pursued by Crucius. We traveled from place to place, and when you were born with you as well, but we were finally caught by Kavar. And then Mom was turned into a monster. Her X-Sphere was removed. Lacking a key crest, the mana in her body went out of control, and she turned into a monster. When it tried to devour you, Noish protected you, and Anna regained control of herself momentarily. Noish saved me? That's probably when Noish became sensitive to monsters. Noish and Anna were both wounded, 
Your mother begged me to kill her. I've heard enough. Anna went out of control again and turned on you. Then I... That's enough! I... killed her. I said that's enough! After that, Kavar attacked. Then you and Noish fell down the cliff along with the X-Sphere. I fought off Kavar and his men and descended the cliff. But all that was left were the design corpses, half eaten by monsters. I thought there was no way you could still be alive. Is that when you return to Crucius? I am the Origin Seal itself. Since killing me would break the seal, Yggdrasil couldn't just leave me alone. And you were okay with that? Even though you opposed what he was doing? Everything felt meaningless. Mythos said he would reunite the worlds as soon as Martell was revived. I came to think that as long as the land would return to normal, that would be enough. Until I met you. Me? You remind me of Mythos. Just like you, Mythos was desperately trying to save the world. He didn't give up. No matter how much he was oppressed, he was hopeful. Until the day Martell was killed. A hero. That's what people call him. Yes. But there is a clear difference between you and Mythos. Our race? No, not that. You realize that you are capable of making mistakes. Or rather, if you make a mistake, you are capable of acknowledging it. That takes courage. Mythos, as well as I, were unable to do that. The courage to acknowledge one's mistakes? We were incapable of correcting our flawed path. We gave up on correcting our mistakes. You didn't give up. If you feel that way, then you must have realized it by now. Mistakes can be corrected. It's not too late. Let's look for a way to release Origin without sacrificing your life. Together. I still have something I must do. Until I am able to entrust it to you, I cannot fight alongside you. Something you have to do? The Eternal Sword. Until I am able to entrust it to you, do not die, Lloyd. Kratos, where are you going? Do not allow Yggdrasil to continue as he pleases. He is capable of sacrificing any number of lives. Stop Yggdrasil, stop Mythos, before Colette is taken from you again. I'll stop him. I'll head to Daris Carlon and put an end to this. Oh, Noish! What's that in your mouth? <coughs> A pendant? What is... It's Kratos and... Mom? Then this baby must be... Me. <coughs> Kratos gave this to you, didn't he? Uh? Okay. I'll hang on to it.